five, six, five, six, seven. Hey guys, welcome to tonight's bachata class for novice level and above. Um, tonight's class is going to be predominantly working on those three steps. And uh, again, these are just quick classes to get your body moving for in-depth explanations for these uh, classes. Of course, you'll find all of that in the full uh, Freedom to Dance course of 20 classes. Of course, there's 20 classes in the Salsa, Bachata, Kizomba, as well as ballet and stretch classes to help you to get your technique a bit better. And I'm also uh, adding extra elements to that as we go on absolutely for free. Any members of the Freedom to Dance uh, course gets full um, access to that course for the rest of the year. So you've got months and months to keep on looking at those cool classes, learning from them, and I'm going to be adding extra info, info to those classes as time goes on. So really, really great value for you in that Freedom to Dance course. So having said that, let's get into tonight's class. We're going to be starting off with a box basic, traditional Dominican bachata box basic. You're going to be taking a step out to the side on the one, close the feet on the two, stepping forward on the three, and where you would normally do a touch before moving into the five, six, seven touch, we're gonna to be doing a cha-cha on one, two, three, four and. This is a four and. And you'll notice that I'm landing on demi point, four and, and that's giving me the ability to stay in this uh, prepared position so that my foot knows that, or my body knows, and I know that my right foot is going to be stepping next into count and to beat number five, because of course five is starting with the right foot. So we have five, six, seven, basic, one, two, three, four, and. Uh -huh. And now we're going to go to the side again for the basic. Five, six, seven, eight, and. Okay, now if this is a little bit confusing to you, just acknowledge that this is your same timing as cha-cha-cha. Cha-cha-cha goes one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one. Okay, so a little bit of a cha-cha connection there in your bachata. Let's do that again. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and. Whenever we're doing these cha-chas, there's different schools of thought when it comes to the cha-chas, your syncopated steps in cha-cha-cha and in bachata, because generally uh, what happens is that you transfer, because you're transferring weight, your arms normally go whenever you transfer weight. There's normally a transfer like that, as if you're walking or running. So with that in mind, you would assume that it would be one, two, three. Cha cha five six seven cha cha one two three cha cha five six seven cha cha. I don't like that look. I don't. I think it looks frantic and uh, it can be a little bit jarring and disconnected with my partner. And I definitely don't want that to happen, especially if I'm holding my partner in a double open hold. Um, I don't want to be transferring all that amount of energy because the cha cha is actually just a stylism that can be employed by both the lead. Uh, and the follow whenever you want to do it. So I could be doing, I could be holding my partner going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My partner could be here and going one, one, two, three, cha cha, five, six, seven, cha cha. Doing the cha chas without me and that would be completely fine. So I just want to be careful when I'm doing the cha chas not to move the arms. So instead I'll have um, one, two, Three, cha cha, five, six, seven, cha cha. My arms are prepared to go into my next step. So my arms are doing exactly the same thing that they would do in bachata or in salsa for that matter. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. 
quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow, and quick, quick, slow. Cool, little tip from me. Again, this is just my, um, my delivery on this movement. If that makes sense to you, do it that way. If you wanna do it the other way, cha-cha, you're welcome to do that. Okay, let's move on to the next step. The next step is gonna be a short slide crossover step or crossover tap, cha-cha. We're gonna start off by going short slide. So this short slide is usually there, but instead of touching next door, we're gonna to touch across. Okay, so we're gonna have one, two, here comes the short slide part, slide, touch, step, sorry, touch, touch, step, slide, touch, 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 okay? You can do that really, really fast based on the music. But now instead of doing a touch in the end, I'm gonna do a cha-cha again. This is gonna be the theme for tonight. So we're gonna have touch, touch, step, cha-cha, touch, touch, step, cha-cha, touch, cha-cha, touch, cha-cha. Show you from the side over here. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three. Cha cha. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven. Cha cha. There's a little bit of a shaping of the body. So as I'm, if I'm facing towards, I'm just showing you a top view. I'm gonna go one, two, three. Cha cha. Five, six, seven. Cha cha. Okay, just to show you where my body is facing. 45 degrees in this angle. Touch, touch, rotate, cha-cha, touch, touch, rotate, cha-cha. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, cha-cha, five, six, seven, cha-cha. There you go, that's part number two, which is short slide with a cha-cha. The last one is going to be a single rock step, single rock step to the front with cha-cha. Now normally what happens with the uh, single rock step, you could go single rock step, single rock step, single rock step, single rock step. In this case we're going to do it to the front, single rock step, touch, single rock step, touch. Now this is a very very um, famous movement in Dominican bachata and the best way to get the lead on this one is to settle down into the rock okay so what happens is you're actually going to go down release close and touch down release close and touch down release close touch down release close touch you can see the way i'm stepping on the front of the foot front of the foot front of the foot touch front of the foot front of the foot Run to the foot, touch. Okay, but now on the end, instead of doing the touch, we're going to do the cha cha. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and. And there you have the last one, which is single rock step with a cha cha tap. Cool. So let's do that with some music. Let's get a little bit of groove going on. I'm not going to be using original music because I don't want YouTube to block the video. This is just going to be the salsa beat machine with this with the tempo down to let's take the tempo down to 130 BPM. I've switched everything else off except for the bongo. Let me actually just show you what I've done so you understand a little bit better what I'm talking about. This is just going to be a nice tool for you if you're looking at working on your bachata. As you can see, salsa beat machine dot org. Oh, let's get that into focus. There we go. Salsa beat machine dot org. I've switched everything off except for the bongo and the tempo is 130 BPM. And now you know. Okay. So let's get you back onto the stand again. Some stuff. Hold on. 
Okay. And here we go. Five, six. Five, six, box basic. One. Cha cha. Cha cha. Cha cha. Cha cha. One more. Short slide, here we go. Cha cha. Cha cha. Cha cha. Cha cha. Cha cha. One more. Single rock, here we go. Cha cha. Cha cha. Cha cha. One, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. Easy stuff. Of course, this works both ways for the guys and for the girls, so exactly the same techniques there, guys. Nothing crazy. So my suggestion to you right now, guys, is to go onto Spotify, uh, go to search bar and search for Paradiso Academy. You're gonna find our playlist there with amazing, amazing bachata music. We've got bachata uh, urbana, urban bachata. We've also got bachata dominicana, Dominican bachata. I would suggest that you go to the Dominican bachata. There's some awesome artists there like Yao and a um, few other artists and you can really check out some amazing music and get your practice on get a little bit of a sweat going get the blood pumping and then come back and join me again for the next class which is going to be coming up after quarter past uh, seven's warm-up and we're going to be looking at some cool steps there also guys and girls thank you so much just remember to like the video subscribe to the channel and uh, don't forget to also check out the entire course for the freedom to dance course it's absolutely amazing guys unbelievable value for your dancing and the value of money and uh, it really really helps and supports paradiso academy to keep this video's beautiful studio for you by the time you get back from this crazy lockdown thanks so much guys and i'll see you in the next video ciao